Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more uh, Cricket Captain 2023 and another part of the road to world number one with England. Today we are back with the match against uh, Pakistan. I just want to uh, say a massive thank you for all of the recent support on this series. I've been really enjoying Cricket Captain again. I'm going to try and keep it going as long as possible, obviously. Uh, within the next week or so, F1 Manager 2023 will be out and looking forward to uh, getting back stuck into that content so while that series is coming out this series might take a bit of a, a back burner but um looking forward to it nonetheless you know it's been, this series has been doing really well so thank you for all of the support with that thank you for all the comments as well um i will be getting back to those over the next week or so um i am a, a full-time teacher and uh, we just broken up for the six weeks holidays so um absolutely a massive time for me um to to be able to go and do that i have been reading all of the comments uh i, I check it you know multiple times a day i just haven't been responding to the comments and, and that's really awful of me and uh i will be going back all the way to to my last responded comment and at least putting a heart uh on everything that's why I always try and do so. Uh, do keep your comments coming, keep your likes coming, all of that good stuff. And uh, thank you for your support today. We've got the deciding test match of this Pakistan series. It's actually pretty massive uh, for us if we want to be getting into uh, the World Ch or the World Test Championship final. If we want to be getting the world number one, we need to hold on to these points from Pakistan because we are just one point away from South Africa as it stands. We don't want to drop back because who knows when the next um, test match against uh, Pakistan will be. I believe this is, um, well, we've got the, the New Zealand series, of course, but uh, yeah, it's one of the, f the, the final matches we've got in this sort of calendar if you like but uh we so jimmy anderson he's still got four tests at the very least we think he might retire at the end of 2024 but we'll see as we as we go on let's uh, get into the next match i think some changes are going to be required we did have a, a pretty awful time of it and i think chris walks in particular has struggled um i'm thinking we probably need another spinner in there now the question is who do we go for do we go for Don Bess or do we go for this guy Alex Russell it's a, it's a real tough one for me but you know I look at those that form and I think wow um oh that's not what I meant to do um theory me we need to move Anderson back there then Russell back there that the, the problem is you know that's a very very long tail um but i think it'll be okay joe roots the other one that's not playing brilliantly it's a toughie but yeah go for the other spinner Oh, this could be a terrible decision. It really could be, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a go. Tails never fails, and we're gonna bat first. And I think that that's a, a an important decision. Get some runs on the scoreboard, um, and and see how we get on here. So Zach Crawley, Ben Duckett, let's get off to a good start. Beautifully struck, and uh, hopefully score nearly six hundred like we've done in the uh, fourth Ashes Test. You know, 592 all out. That was an awesome innings from us earlier today. Good ball. So let's um, hopefully keep that going. Good. Crawley's gone, though. He's out for 16. That's huge. Oh, oh, effort. Down it oh it's dropped. It's dropped. I thought Pope was gone. And, well, can Pope punish them? Right off the middle. Yeah, good shot from Ben Duckett there. Holly Pope now getting involved with uh, some boundary action. And 12 off this over. Beautiful from Holly Pope. There was no ball there as well. There could be a run out here. Yeah, good running. This is going I to think. Be well, the umpire's unmoved. Yeah, just about got home there, Ben Duckett. What an easy oh, and he's gone this time. He's out for 25. What a shame. Cool. And Root's gone early once again. And yeah, it's just not going well, our batting. 
at the moment, and it's something that stroke. we've been so good at. And that's going to be runs. So consistent, but yeah, I mean, this is where the the worry of the the long tail comes in. Whoops. You know, we're really hoping that Jofra Archer can produce what he has been producing and drive off the back foot. not get out cheaply. Rayan Ahmed, he's been okay as well, I suppose. Four runs. To be fair, Brooke uh, off to a good start and. Pope doing well as well. Lunch interval day one then, and it's 121 for th for three. So despite losing the wickets, we're we're scoring a good amount of runs. And if we can get to 5300, it gets us in the match. And that's what I think we have to remember. So 50 Farley Pope. Lovely to see. Obviously was dropped on naught. So any of these runs are. In theory, a bonus for him, and it'd be lovely if he could go and get a big century. Nice shot. I think he deserves it, but uh, the Pakistan bowling is uh, not fantastic at this moment. Four, three fours in a row, and they go fastest fifty for Harry Brook. Fifty-four balls. What a shot! He's looking in nice nick, to be honest. I'm going to just up the aggression slightly, try and take the game to Pakistan a little bit. And there you go, hitting the six. And a no-ball there as well. So that was a massive uh, amount of runs. And there's the 200 up. Beautiful shot from Harry Brook. And there's the reverse sweep out now. Four again. As he's into the 70s. That was a very nervous looking shot. Yeah, still, decent amount of time to go in this session. Already past 200. Hopefully heading towards 300. That's what we'd like to see. It has helped it to the boundary Pope before. starting to get back into it now. 89 he moves on to. Shot. Four runs there for Harry Brook. Six minutes left of this session. That's high in the air. It's going to be Away six. Right Beautiful shot into the 80s, both of them. T interval day one, then 234 for three. And, uh, well, you've got to say it's been an absolute pleasure watching these two back. Timing was the key there. It's another four for Brook. And another four for Ollie Pope, so, starting just as they finished. And there's four again for Harry Brook. Absolutely shot. brilliant. Doesn't quite get him to his centuries on 98. But there's a four for Ollie Paul, but a big century. Four on number three. And he needed that. And it gets us up to 250. Poor shot. Not out, but it looked plumb. Well, I felt like it was going down leg side. And it was good decision. Next ball, he hits for four, and that's his sentry. Very good job from these two, and we needed that. Absolutely needed that. And I'm hoping it means we can keep pushing on, get ourselves to 300. Mm, Brooks gone, though. Good ball from Sharp. He's out for 106. Terrific innings. And now Ben Stokes comes to the crease, no one. That's a thick edge. He can. What a good stroke. You know, play quite freely. Doesn't need to come in and, and save us. And just play freely. And Ollie Pope, well, obviously He's dropped that one. on zero. Wow, that's gone for six. Thick edge for six. Pope's riding his luck today. That's a powerful shot. That's another beautiful cover drive from him. Into the one twenties now. Beautiful. Ben Stokes looks in the mood as well. Excellent. 300 play. already up. We've still got an hour to go. How far can we get? Can we get towards 400 on day one? That's a fine shot. shot. Four runs. Pakistan take the new ball. Obviously, always got to be a little bit careful. 
This looks close. And that could be out. And it is. What a shame. Molly go. Pope does not get to his uh, 150, but 147. Very good innings from him. He's out. And Fawkes has gone for two. Archer comes to the crease. Four runs. 3.50 up. It wasn't. But Ben Stokes looks in the mood. End of day one. 3.64 for six. Very good innings from uh, Ollie Pope and Harry Brook. Ben Stokes is contributing as well. 47 not out so far. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll certainly take that. It's a very... Decent Ooh, opening there, uh, opening in and score, and hopefully Jofra Archer can get involved in the action as well. And there's 50. That's a great stop. That saved oh, it should have been. Yeah, there. no, it no is problem. 54. The captain Ben Stokes, very good. And now we can maybe he hasn't got pick up the that. pace a little bit. Well, that's hardly elegant, but it's four more. The bat turns that's the thing with uh, Jofra Archer. He'll swing the bat, and he will get runs. We know he will. Big appeal. Mm, was that missing leg? Not according to the That's umpire. Very good ben Stokes is gone. He's out for 54. Ryan Ahmed comes to the crease. And, that's out. and he's out for a duck. And this is the problem that I, I foresee well, with this team is that you're not going to score many runs once uh, Stokes is out. That's right off the middle of the bat. Bill but, you know, our chain to the 20s. The big shout. Doing a good job. The umpire's unmoved, but it must have been close. Not this time. That's a oh, what a catch. Well, here we go then. Alex Russell. Oh, what a shot. And First ball, ball in Test way. cricket, and he whacks it to the boundary. And that's going to be 400 for the team. Be one run well played. 400 up. And that's He's always what you want when you, you know, come to and that's the toss and you win the, the toss and pick the bat. You're thinking, right, we want 400 then. What was the batsman thinking of? Well, Anderson gone. He's out for five. But uh, Alex Russell, not bad. Uh, 13 not out in the end. 410 all out for England. Uh, obviously, top score, 147 from Ollie Pope, 106 from Brooke there, 54 from Brett Ben Stokes, and uh, a nice 23 from Jofra Archer towards the end. But um, now it's a, it's a big moment for us. We need to... Have Anderson and Archer at their best. Anderson into he's Shafiq. Near the ball. Not quite. Anderson in. Oh, hack and he's gone. He's out again. 14 he's gone for. And Jimmy Anderson with a terrific piece of ball and gets a breakthrough. Lunch interval day two. 53 for one. Anderson into oh, Shaquille. I think that Not was out. outside the line. Really look convincing. Yeah, just outside the line, but good delivery nonetheless. It's been a long spell from these two, and that's going to be Anderson's second wicket. Shafiq's gone for 30. Anderson doing nicely. We're going to bring Stokes in from one end. Ahmed in from the other. And this is the thing about Rayan Ahmed. He's been pretty expensive in this series so far. But here he comes to Barbar Azam. Very, very and that's going to be indeed. out, I think. Yeah, Azam's gone for 37. And now Alex Russell, new boy in. The guy we've placed a lot of trust in to come in and make a difference with the ball. He's and gone. there's a second for Rayan Ahmed. Ghulam gone for 21. Pakistan 172 for 4. Here comes Alex Russell into to here. That's a yes! wonderful catch. He's out. Good, he gets himself a catch. His uh, partner, Rayan Ahmed, gets the catch. Oh, and there's catch. two. Oh, ho! Alex Russell gets two in the over. And now Pakistan six down. What a good That's catch. gone as well. Ali out for a duck. Shaquille's still there. 
And while he's still there, there's still a chance. Alex Russell into a 3D now. Oh, well, another day he might have put back to ball. Not quite, but he's doing a great job as Alex Russell. Big appeal. That's going to be gone as well, I think. Yeah, a 3D gone. He's out for 11. Ryan Ahmed into Shaquille. He's the wicket we want. Well Caught. He's out for 98. Shame he didn't get his sentry. Alex Russell in. Ashar. That's and out. that is Fine what down. we needed. And okay. Some of the tail are who he got. But that's a, a good debut a bowling a performance 238 all out pakistan uh, jimmy anderson of course getting us off to a flyer with two wickets for 53 as always absolutely brilliant four for 77 for rayan ahmed four for 45 for alex russell great start to his test career averaging 11 with the ball we will take that and uh, hopefully we can now build a nice solid uh, score for Pakistan to chase. Uh, first innings lead of 172. That's a beautiful shot. And uh, now, hopefully, a chance for some big scores because we we've seen if you can get in on this pitch, you can go and score a fair few runs. Well ah, Crawley's gone again. Disappointing series for him after a blinding well, summer. You know, lots of centuries in there, but. That's a confident appeal. Ben Duggett's had a, a tricky uh, 2024 as well. And he's absolutely needing a, a score. Poor old this looks like a good end to the day. End of day two then. 47 for one. That's a lead of 219. It's the sort of thing you he feel. That. Right, if you can set them for 5500, then you... You're almost guaranteeing yourself the victory. Oh, dug it gone. He's out for 42. Shame he couldn't get to 50. But this man, Joe Root, what a poor series he's had. And he absolutely Ooh. needs to score some runs. That's a very risky run. Can he get his back down? Yep, got home. Oh, Pope gone for 32. 89 for three still. In a little bit of a precarious position here. But Brooks come out firing. Nice stuff. 100 up. That's a really graceful stroke. Four more. That hits the pads. Brooks gone out? though. He's out for 21. So Ben Stokes comes to the crease. Oh, a blinding shot. Got the shot. former England captain and the current England captain knowing the importance of their innings here. Well, there's no excuse for that sort of fielding. Root looking solid. This is the thing with Root. You always know that despite everything, there's going to be a big score around the corner, probably. Fine shot there. Oh, what a shot. And that's four all the way. Lunch interval, day three, 165 for four. 337 is the lead then. And. Well, what? Stokes has gone. He's out for 30. He'll be disappointed. Oh, oh this is out. This is absolutely oh, out. Right. Root's gone. And just as you thought, this could things be were starting to happen. Root's gone. And all of a sudden that brings Archer to the crease and Fawkes has gone for six. Found the edge. Oof, inside, uh, outside edge for four. Oh, well that's caught him in two minds. Mmm, this isn't good. I mean, this is definitely chaseable Beautiful from ball. Pakistan at the moment. Well, the ball was appealing. No, it must have scraped the bat. Oh dear, that would... Tell you what, their wicket keeping also was noticeable in the summer. It's, it's been terrible. It really has been. Oh, lovely shot from Jofra there. Into the 20s he goes again. 
Now Rian Ahmed hits one for four. It's getting us towards a 400 lead, which is nice. It's been a good partnership, this, actually. Nice. Great shot. This could be out. Edged, but safe. That's a good looking shot. Four again from Vrayan. And there we go with a reverse sweep. Four more and for four from Jofra Archer. It's a confident mm, shout. That's going to be out though. Ahmed's gone for 29. It's a pity. What a and Archer's gone as well. I'm going to tell Russell to uh, hold the strike. He's out. Oh, like Anderson that. gone. What a shame. He's out for 250. Sorry, he's out for zero. Uh, we're all out for 250. And Pakistan need 425 to win. It's a very tough chase. Don't get me wrong, but it is doable in the time that they've got. Anderson's going to bowl one over before T. Can he get a wicket? Appealing. The says not, not quite, but uh, good, good delivery nonetheless. 4-2-2, still to win in this match and well hopefully Jofra Archer brings his best ball in as well Anderson into Shafiq that's going to be out Shafiq is gone Anderson gets him he's out for nine 20 for one Anderson into Ulhak that's gone as well he's had Ulhak wrapped around his little finger in this series as Jimmy uh, he's done very, very well. 34 for two, Pakistan here. And if we can get two or three Where's more wickets going? in this and evening session, it could all be over. Rayan Ahmed gets his first wicket. Now here's Gulam's first ball. Wonderful. He's gone as well. Hat trick delivery for Rayan Ahmed. No stroke. No stroke there. We're going to give Anderson another over. And then uh, Alex Russell's going to come in. This is brilliant. Four wickets down for 35. And there's there. Alex Russell's first to wicket. Uh, he has gone. Out. Absolutely plumb. He's gone for one. And now Rizwan comes to the crease. And that's a stomp in. Yes. Oh. Well, hat trick ball for Alex Russell. No run there. Let's just have a little look at it. This was the hat trick delivery. Yeah. Played it well. But goodness me, are these two. On form 36 for six here. Yeah. Beautiful ball. And I think that might be about that. End of day three then. 75 for six in the end. They've they've done well to, to come back from that. And um, we'll get Anderson and Archer back in. Archer into Ali. Miles away from the... Not quite Anderson into Ali. Oh, nice. edged and gone from a bounce. He's out for 36. And Pakistan now seven down. Archer into a free a real body Oh, blow in and I think sense. that might be a tough one to take. He looks a bit shaky, but he's okay. He's all right. I'm quite glad. Yeah. Nothing there. Alex Russell back into the attack. And he gets a freedy. He's out for four. Give Anderson one more over. See if he can get any more wickets. Russell into sharp. This has to be close. No. No, he's not going to give those out. And we're going to give Rayan Ahmed the ball once again. Two more wickets to win. That's a massive shot for LBW. Think not that out. pitched no outside leg. I don't think that was quite good enough, unfortunately. Yeah, we can see how much it's turning. Here comes Ahmed into Shaquille. Beaten. <sighs> There's a lot of turn out there, isn't there? Out. And Russell gets him. He's out for 45. Chance for a five for here in his first test match. Alex Russell into all that. A huge shout Ooh, goes up. Oh, not no, quite. Says the umpire, not out. This could be his last chance. And he's done it! 
Brilliant. Player, and so are the team. No question who is going to win this. Brilliant from Alex Russell. Five wickets in the second innings. Nine wickets in the match. And there you go. I mean, that's brilliant. 129 all out Pakistan. And we win the match by 295 runs. And we take the series 2-1. In the end, but what a find this guy is. Alex Russell, 22 years old. He comes in, and him and uh, Rayan Ahmed, I'll tell you what, they are going to be some special spin bowlers for us, and we could, well, have to really decide who who's the best between them because that that was awesome uh the be the pick of the bowlers in both innings james anderson once again three for 24 i mean unbelievable at the age of 42 763 test wickets now and uh, needs just 40 more to get the record and there goes uh england into the top two now uh against uh, South Africa, they are the ones that are leading the way. India are currently third, but uh, we're looking good to actually be in the World Test Championship final as long as we beat uh, New Zealand convincingly, I think. That's what we have to look for. But uh, that was absolutely awesome. Really, really awesome. I loved every minute of that match. That was That was intense. Um, but some terrific bowling from the likes of Anderson and Alex Russell, wonderful to have a new boy in there as well. Uh, in terms of the squad, I think we're probably going to just select the same squad. I don't see any reason to not do that, although Bess seems to be injured. So we'll get rid of him. Um, who was it that uh, Ben was talking about in terms of first-class players um if we look at fielding and then catches and stumpings because he was definitely a wicket keeper rue this guy he looks quite good actually james rue 20 years old mm. yeah why not we'll give him a we'll give him a little run out in the squad where's he gone where's rue gone He was there. There he is. Right. Cool. So we've now got him in the squad. That'll give us a little bit of depth, actually, which is nice. Pity about his aggression. Uh, he's a very defensive player. Kind of doesn't help what we're trying to achieve with our squad. But, uh, yeah, I think everybody else uh, stays the same. That's all good. Uh, Zach Crawley definitely needs some practice, as does Joe Root, Harry Brook, Ben Duckett, uh, Ben Folks probably, because if Folks fails, then Rue is there ready and waiting. In terms of bowling practice, a bit for James Anderson, perhaps Stuart Broad as well. Of course, very different to the subcontinent is uh, New Zealand, so need to keep that in mind uh, with our team selections but uh, looking forward to that in the next episode hopefully you guys are too if you are give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more cricket captain videos and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye